Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Subway Ford from 2021. So always take a quick look at the box. Once again, you just have the generic Kevin Harvick box. Kevin Harvick, number four, picture of Kevin right there, Stuart Haas Racing NASCAR Cup Series. Got Kevin Harvick, got a render of the car right there, Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish. Made a total of 660 of these things. Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish, number four, Kevin Harvick. Same stuff on the back of the box. 2021 Action Racing Collectibles, number four. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. Said Subway has made its triumphant return to NASCAR again out of nowhere. This time kicking Jimmy Johns right off the car. That was This was a very weird situation that, you know, Harvick's had Jimmy Johns for all these years that, like, three quarters of the way through the year, all of a sudden it's like, Jimmy Johns is out and Subway's on the car now. Like, they even replaced little Jimmy Johns logo with the Subway logo down there. As far as the sub shops go, I think I like Jimmy John's food over Subway's, but as far as paint schemes go, I'm so glad Subway's back. Since Subway has some of the coolest paint schemes over the years, and this one is no exception. This is a beautiful car. The bright green, the yellow, the black, like, Subway's designs are just always fantastic every time they're in a sport. It's so much better. Like I said, Jimmy John's cars are always just white and black cars with a little bit of red. So, I'm definitely not too sad to see those paint teams go away. So, they sponsored Kevin Harvick last year and this year. This year's paint scheme with the next gen is basically the same car, just, you know, with the number move forward and design slightly changed, but. And also funny enough, they did make this die cast specifically based around the Bristol Night Race version, which I think everyone remembers what happened with that race with Chase Elliott. That was the start of the Chase Elliott-Kevin Harvick feud. Which, to be honest, Chase Elliott is, I think, to blame with that. <laughs> like, I don't know why Chase Elliott was even, like, that mad about it, because it was like, Chase Elliott, like, punted a Rick Ware car out of the way going down the straightaway, then dove in like so far down on Harvick's door that no wonder he was going to get loose, slide up into Chase, and then Chase wrecked, basically, as far as I'm concerned, Chase wrecked himself. Like, I'm sorry, but Harvick really didn't do anything wrong there. Chase just, you know, drove in so far on his door that of course it was going to get Harvick loose, and Harvick got loose up into Chase, obviously, because he was on his door. Like, the fact that Chase was all pissy about that, and like, you know, which, I mean, that was, you know, a decent way to get back payback like he didn't actually do anything to him he just kind of you know ran his line and held him up enough so you know kyle larson chase's teammate could win but like yeah obviously harvick was harvick so harvick was absolutely pissed off after the race but anyways let's get back to the car and do a quick 360 of the diecast said so that was harvick's basically only chance to win last year and he still hasn't won last year or this year it's so crazy to think about that. Like, you know, after 2020, how Harvick was like, you know, the number one driver in the sport. And now just he hasn't won in two years now. I don't know. It's like, I mean, the Fords this year with the next gen car have been kind of off. Like, you get occasional Ford winners like Logano's won a few times and so on. But like, Fords in general have just been slow most races. <laughs> but anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have the Subway logo. Got Ford Mustang number four and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you have Subway. You got hashtag eat fresh fast. Got Haas, Subway, and Hump Brothers Pizza down there. In front of the rear wheel, you got Bush Light, Fields, and Exalta. Got Mobile One on the C post. And on the B post, you have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Unibet, Hump Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Centers. You got Subway delivery up here. As I said, this is a playoff car, so once again, you have the playoff markings. Got NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, round of 16. Got the windshield banner and the spoiler, which work really well with the colors of this car. Although, for some reason, like, it, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but, like, the spoiler seems to just be the subway yellow, not the playoff yellow, whereas, you know, this is a different shade of yellow on the windshield banner. It seems weird. I don't know if it's just because, like, I don't know if the spoiler is already yellow for subway, so they just left it the regular color and didn't really update it. But, I don't know, it looks weird to me. Anyways, on the back, you have subway delivery. You've got the Ford Michigan license plate, Mobile One and Four. That looks kind of... I just noticed that that logo doesn't seem quite right on that between the uh, crack where the hood would open if it was an opening hood one. Or, why am I saying hood? The trunk. Anyways, you got Subway Eat Fresh on the deck lid and Mobile One on the roof. This is number 153. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got Powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, you know, deck lid, the roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. 
So just a cool paint scheme. This is definitely one that I'm, you know, quite happy to see Subway back in the sport because, like I said, they've had so many great paint schemes over the years. They've had very few misses over the years. I know, like, that one year with Carl Edwards was definitely a miss at Joe Gibbs Racing when he had just, like, it was, like, a solid black car with, like, a little yellow on it. It was, like, no. But I said Subway definitely got out of the sport in a terrible, terrible way. I don't know if anyone, if some people don't remember that, back in, like, 20, what was it, like, 17, was it? That, like, when Suarez had them, that, like, Suarez, like, gave out Dunkin' Donuts at Daytona to, like, some fan or sponsor event or something, and Subway was like, oh, that breached our contract, we're gone. <laughs> it was like, well, like, yes, as you know, Subway who sells donuts, like, that was the weirdest thing. Like, that sounded like more like they just, they were only here for sponsor Carl after the whole thing happened with Carl, that they just didn't want to sponsor Suarez, so they found some bullshit excuse to get out of it, but I don't know. That was still one of the weirdest situations. But like I said, they are back now. Hopefully they stay on long-term with Harvick. I said, man, Harvick's loaded with the f good sponsors. He's got beer, pizza, and now subs. <laughs> well, I mean, he's had subs with Jimmy John's, but it's just kind of funny that, like, to have that this one car has beer, pizza, and subs all as, as sponsors. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. Would not be surprised if this car gets popular, as cool as it looks, and the fact that it has the story behind it with the whole Chase Elliott thing. So, you might want to pick it up soon if you want it. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. Use the code BWAC. You can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just go check it out if you want anything. But I think Trench, all there is to say, this has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Subway Ford from 2021. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.